first up this month, another demo of Mayhem in Monsterland. This time round, Jellyland. I enjoyed this one much more than last month's demo. I think it's a easier level, possibly the first one. It's much more straight platforming rather than speeding around and then falling down a big hole. Also, there's no foliage hiding things, there's no annoying floaty water bits, and the checkpointing seems much more sensible. Much better, much less frustrating this time around. Life Force! Unfortunately not one of the Nemesis Gradius games. Or equally unfortunately, a licensed game based on that film with the naked space vampires and Patrick Stewart's exploding head. It's a reasonable enough top-down shooter. Destructible scenery hiding, hiding power-ups in the background is a nice touch. Unfortunately you'll often just get stuck there because of the ropey collision detection. It's pretty mediocre to be honest. Does the job. The job it's doing isn't tremendous. Brace yourselves for the non-stop excitement of... Font Editor 3. But wait, it at least has better gameplay than this. Freddy Hardest. From the geniuses that brought you Game Over last month. Nice little intro, and you'll be seeing a lot of it. This is just... garbage. The collision detection is hopeless, the jumping is horrible, you'll find yourself waiting around for ages trying to cheese the two enemies on screen sprite limit. Like this. And then you'll fall to your death anyway. I have managed to get past this one particular jump, and then you have to do it again and it spawned an enemy on the platform I needed to land on with no way of killing it. It's an oddly memorable game though. On two entirely separate forums people have asked what was that crap Flash Gordon knockoff with the weird alien on the cover? And I have responded, it was Freddy Hardest and it was indeed crap. And finally, this month's pleasant surprise! Quantum Logic Systems present Lunar Jailbreak. The long distant ancestor to Cannabalt, I guess, at a push. Dead simple. Hold direction, jump over obstacles, and eventually catch up with an escaping prisoner. Almost painfully one note. And, but the race against time element and the fact that if every time you fail it is largely your own fault, it kept my interest much more than most things this month. Love the twiddly music as well. Never did figure out how to skip over those ones. Plus the occasional bonus minigame. And your reward for completing said minigame? A jetpack! Come here you. And later levels obviously start throwing more and more things at you. A strange side note to this. The developers actually sued Future Publishing and won, as Future didn't actually have permission to put it on the cover tape. Oops. Some sort of communication breakdown if you're feeling charitable. 